Outside Health and Fitness Podcast, Episode 134, Seven Exercise Tips for Keeping Cool in Hot Weather. Welcome to the Outside Health and Fitness Podcast. We're getting outside the box, outside our comfort zone, and outside and in shape. If you're bored with the same old fitness routine at the gym and you're ready to try something new, then this is the show for you. We're exploring new and fun ways to get fit on the trail, on the water, on the slopes, and outside. Hi, this is Steve Stearns from Outside Health and Fitness, and thank you for joining me for another episode. If you're new to the show, we like to stay fit and active by having fun outside. We like to ride, slide, run, walk, hike, bike, golf, frolf, swim, and ski. If it's fun outside and it keeps us healthy, we love it. So if you're like us and you like to have fun outside, then you found the right place. You know, right now we're having a heat wave in many parts of the U.S., and as we move into the dog days of summer, I thought it would be a great time to talk about exercising outdoors when the temps are sky high. So on today's show, you'll discover some of the dangers and things to avoid when working out in high temperatures, how to tell if you're overheating, and how to stay safe exercising in hot weather. Outside Health and Fitness.com. Exercising outside when it's really hot can be dangerous, so it's important to be smart and take precautions to avoid serious health issues. Prolonged heat exposure affects everyone at any age, no matter your physical condition. Even healthy young people have been injured or have died as a result of prolonged exposure to heat while engaging in physical activity. In a rare criminal prosecution of a coach, David Stenson was charged with homicide and wanton endangerment after Max Gilpin collapsed and died following a hot August practice. According to the boys' team members, Stenson had ordered them to run a few more sprints than usual as punishment for a lack of effort in practice. During that drill, Gilpin's temperature reached 107 degrees. The defense argued the teenager's death was an accident brought on by a combination of factors including the heat, and a drug used to treat attention deficit. Both extreme heat and exercise put stress on the body. And when you exercise in hot temperatures, you can increase your core temperature. Under normal conditions, your body's cooling system maintains a safe core temperature. But when it's really hot, you're exposed for an extended period, or you aren't properly hydrated, your body's cooling system just can't keep up, and you can overheat. So as your body tries to cool your core, your heart sends more blood to the skin. And more blood to your skin means less blood to your muscles, causing your heart rate to increase. On top of that, if you're in a humid climate, the sweat from your body won't evaporate like it should, causing your core temperature to go even higher. So if you notice heat-related symptoms, such as confusion, irritability, heart rhythm problems, dizziness, nausea, visual problems, or fatigue... You need immediate medical attention to prevent brain damage, organ failure, or even death. Additional signs of overheating include muscle cramps, weakness, headache, sweating extensively, low blood pressure, or increased heart rate. If you notice any of these symptoms, you must lower your body temperature and get hydrated. Stop exercising right away and get out of the heat. So what do you do when it's hot out? Can you still exercise outdoors? Yes, but you need to be smart about it and take some precautions to protect yourself. Here are seven tips that can help you stay safe while you work out in hot weather. Tip number one is to check with your doctor. Some prescription medications and medical conditions can interfere with your body's ability to regulate temperature, so ask your doctor if you need to take any additional precautions. Number two is work out early or late. Getting your workout started early in the morning or later in the evening can help you avoid the hottest part of the day. Number three, stay properly hydrated. Make sure you drink water before, during, and after your workout. In hot weather and while exercising, you lose water faster than normal, so staying hydrated is vital. Drink even if you don't feel thirsty to stay properly hydrated. And if you're going to be exercising for an extended period, use sports drinks that help you replace lost electrolytes. Number four, take it easy and don't go so hard. If you normally work out in cooler climates, recognize that you may need to ease up on your workout. The run that you do in 70 degree weather with low humidity may be impossible when it's extremely hot and humid. 
reduce the time and intensity of your workout and start out slow to let your body adapt to the heat. Number five, wear light clothing. When it's hot out, you need to select your clothing carefully. Think light and bright colors. And those breathable high-tech fabrics that will help you stay cool and dry. Wearing your favorite black t-shirt for a run is probably not a great idea because black and other dark colors absorb sunlight and can increase your temperature. And don't forget a hat or bandana to protect your head and sunglasses for your eyes. Speaking of bandanas, here's a neat trick for keeping cool when you're working out in high heat. Wrap some ice cubes in a bandana and then tie it around your neck. Believe it or not, the ice cubes melt much more slowly than you might think, and it helps keep you cooler for a longer time. Number six, water workouts. Exercise in the water. It's an excellent option when it's hot outside. Water keeps your body cooler and provides the same toning and cardiovascular benefits of exercise on dry land with less stress and strain on your muscles, joints, and bones. Be sure to drink plenty of water, even while you're swimming, to ensure that you're properly hydrated. Number seven, take it inside. When it gets really hot or the air quality is bad, you just need to take it inside. As I mentioned in the beginning, overheating is serious business, and we're working out to stay healthy, so it doesn't make sense to risk your health to work out. If you feel any of the symptoms we talked about earlier, or it's just too darn hot out there, stay inside or go to the gym where it's air-conditioned. So it's okay to work out when the weather is hot, but take precautions and be aware of the signs that you may be overheating. Remember, check with your doctor, work out early or late to avoid the midday sun, stay hydrated, take it easy, Wear light protective clothing that wicks moisture, work out in the water, or take it inside. I wanted to take a second and thank Novelty718 for leaving a five-star rating and review in iTunes this week. They said, fantastic for fitness lovers. I'm getting back into fitness, and I came across this podcast, and I thought it would be good for motivation. I love the tips and advice, a definitive must for all fitness lovers, from beginner to advanced. Thank you so much. That's a great review. And, you know, reviews and ratings in iTunes really help other people find the show, and they keep me energized. Have you left us a rating and review? It's super easy. If you're listening on an Apple device using the podcast app, just click on the artwork to see the show notes. Click the link that says leave a rating and review in iTunes and jot down your thoughts. It's that simple. Or visit OutsideHealthAndFitness.com forward slash 134 to leave a review and for links to everything we talked about today and more information, including some great resources for staying cool in hot weather. While you're there, be sure to get your free copy of Tabata Morning Workout for a quick 10-minute routine you can use to get fit, fast, first thing in the morning when it's a little bit cooler. Well, that wraps up another episode of the Outside Health and Fitness Podcast. I hope you got something of value from the show today that helps you get outside and in shape. For more on taking your health and fitness outside, visit OutsideHealthAndFitness.com and subscribe to the show. Until next time, I'll see you outside.